Hello everyone, so we will continue over the Databricks series. So first thing is like we are going to learn the Spark SQL and after that only we will start the PySpark. Okay, so let's explore the Databricks uh, notebook space, how actually we can use. So with the help of the Spark SQL, everything we are going to learn and we will try to explore it. Okay, once it will complete, we will start a PySpark series. Okay, so what we have to do? Once you will log into the community.cloud.databricks.com, right? You will get to see this particular screen. What is our first step? Is like first step is to create a cluster. So go to this compute. Okay. After that, click on the create compute. First thing is to create a cluster because once you will be having cluster, then only you will be able to execute your jobs and whatever the query you are writing, right? So first thing is to create a cluster. You have to give any cluster name. Okay. And by default, the free 15 GB memory. This is the uh, this is the addition we get in a, a community addition so that actually we can utilize cluster is nothing but a, it is a group of machine okay if you are using multiple machine uh, to execute in a parallel to execute your job we use a cluster okay that actually we will talk about more in a later okay now after doing a cluster creation what we have to do we, we are going to create a notebook let's see how actually we can create in a left side click on the create go to the notebook and uh, give any name so i will give the spark sql one okay this is the notebook name i am giving the language you can select anything we have a python sql scala and r we are going to learn the spark sql so we'll see how actually we can use a sql so we will select the sql okay after that you have to select the cluster click on the create okay once you will create the, you will get to see this particular screen okay i have selected the background as a black but uh, by default it will be white okay but the it will look like the similar only okay now uh, it looks similar to the our uh, jupyter notebook okay if you are familiar now here we can write any kind of the sql query okay like uh, you select star from table and all uh, any kind of the query you can execute uh, and you can write any kind of the sql and you can execute okay now what we will do we will try to create one table with the csv file how actually we can do in a ui itself what we have to do you go to the this data okay click on the create table okay you can pass any location also i will select the browse okay in a browse option i will select let me select one file let me select the employee file okay once you will select the file you will get two options create table in a notebook query or create table with ui we will select the create table with ui okay after that you have to select the cluster the cluster we have we just have created right generally it takes time so we will wait it to be completed after this we have to select the our cluster and click on the preview table okay once you will click on the preview table we will get couple of option what is the table name we want to give so i will give a table name as a employee underscore csv this is the table name i am giving after that it will ask for the create in data set uh, database if you have any database th that actually you can select it what is my file type so i will select the csv even column delimiter if it is a comma separate anything you can mention here first row is header if you will select the first row it will consider as a header okay infer schema means automatically it will select like id should be in integer salary should be integer so automatically it will select so i will select the infer schema also and here only you will be able to preview your data it is uh, getting processed so let's wait it to be completed okay uh, now you can see here right uh, user actually automatically it selected as an integer name it considered as a stringer because we have selected the infer schema first row as header we have selected so first row is considering as a header okay and all the thing you can see it okay now we will click on the create table so that is how it simple it is okay employee one underscore csv this is the table we have created okay uh, okay so this is the infer schema and the by default is selected the database as default okay so what actually we will do we have created a note notebook right there actually we will try to execute this we will try to write a sql query and we will try to understand okay so i will go to the my uh, recent activity so this is the notebook i have selected i created so i will select that so i created a table right so what actually i will do i will give the table name so this is the table i have created by ui so let's try to execute select start from table this is the table if i will execute 
okay shift and enter if you will press it will get executed okay so let's start from employee one csv you will be able to see your table details okay now our sql co code is running now if you want to write any kind of the sql query you can write here suppose if i want to know the sum of the salary okay what is the sum of the salary from the employee one underscore csv table if you will do you will get the result okay this is how the simple it is okay sum of the salary these details you are getting okay so what actually we will do uh, we will try to learn more about it like uh, we will try to learn every uh, sql commands we will try to execute it and we will try to explore more okay uh, um, now let us try to we will also try to see how actually we can create a table in a notebook okay we have seen like how actually we can create a table uh, in a ui path but if you want to create in a notebook so there was one more option right so click on the data click on the create table okay select it file let me try to select the same file again try to upload that file here we have on one more also create table in a notebook so i'll click here create table in a notebook so what actually it does it automatically it will create a notebook for you and this is nothing but your pyspark command python command we have so what actually it is doing is this is the file location and the file type it is passing infer schema we were giving right so everything by default the code actually it was written and it is creating a data frame actually this all the thing we will learn later okay but as of now you can see this is if i will execute this you will get to see the data frame with that particular file okay and this is the table name which is which it is going to create okay so this is also one way to create a table okay i hope you got it how actually we can create a cluster how actually we can um, uh, uh, create a notebook this all the thing we have seen i hope you got idea so in next video we will see we will try to see each and every sql command and we will try to learn more about it